Hey everyone, welcome to another watercolor brush review. Today we are going to look at some synthetic brushes. We have the Escoda Perlar and the Escoda Barocco. The bristles are made of this synthetic material called Torre, which is one of the three more common types of materials that are used to make synthetic brushes. The other two are Teclon and Nylon. So here with the Escoda Perla, this is white Torre, and this with the Escoda Barocco, this is the golden Torre. In this video, we'll test the differences between these two brushes. Now the observable difference right here is the color of the bristles. So with the white Torre, now this is easier to stain compared to the golden Torre. You can see I have some red in the bristles. Because this hair is easier to stain, sometimes it's a bit difficult to tell whether or not there is still paint in it or whether or not the bristles, they are dirty and require cleaning. Notice the tip with the Perla, it's sharper. That's actually because I have conditioned the hair with some brush soap. I have shaped the hair to a sharp tip. Now, if the brush hair is not conditioned, it will dry like this. For example, here, these are two brushes that are not conditioned with the brush soap. They will dry like this. The brush hairs are available in different shapes. The ones that I have, they are round brushes. I have one in collapsible pocket travel brush format. This is a Perla. And I have one Barocco with a flat brush head. If we take a look at Escoda's website, you can see the different shapes available. This is a dagger flat brush, a short round pointed fan. This is a round brush. This is a long handle brush. This is a travel pocket brush, angular brush. We have a short handle round brush, filbert, and we have flat brush. So they are available in different sizes as well. And these are the different types of Barocco brush. You can see fan, round brush, field bird, flat brush as well. And now let's test the brushes. I'm going to start with the Escoda Perla first. When I dip this brush into the water, straight away I can tell that this brush, it doesn't hold as much water compared to natural hair brushes. So let's see what kind of strokes this brush can create. A very typical use of synthetic brushes is to paint details because they are stiffer. Synthetic brushes, they are stiffer. So when you are painting with them, it feels like drawing with them. So the Escoda Perlar is very capable of producing thin lines. Let's paint some thin and thick lines. It has a nice spring to it. You can go back to its shape when you lift up the brush. Because synthetic brushes, they do not hold as much water compared to natural hair brushes, these are usually not the first brushes to use when you are painting. When you are painting, usually you want to use a brush that has larger water capacity so that you can cover larger areas, paint large washes first, before you touch up the details with a synthetic brush like this. So as I paint these two, uh, areas here, I needed to reload the brush one time. If you paint a large area with a synthetic brush, you will need to reload the brush many times. Even if you are using a large brush, because uh, a large synthetic brush doesn't hold as much water compared to a similar size natural hair brush. Let's see if the brush can release water consistently. Notice how steep the brush is. So it's able to release water quite consistently. Next, we'll test a uh, Barocco. The Escoda Barocco feels very similar to the Perla. Let's check out the thin strokes. You can get rather thin lines as well, just like the Perla. So let's go from thin to thick. 
so it can definitely go back to its shape to its original shape no problem at all the water carrying capacity is similar to the perlar as well this is a good brush for details let's paint a flat wash this is a size 8 brush just like the earlier brush and I can only paint one tiny area here before I have to reload now just for comparison purposes I'm going to use the Escoda Versatile which is also another synthetic brush from Escoda I'm going to paint a flat wash as well and show you how much more paint this brush can carry compared to the Perlar and the Barocco I can paint the same area with the Escoda Versatile but I do not need to reload it Escoda Versatile by the way it's a bit softer compared to the synthetic brushes the Perla and the Barocco so we can get the same strokes here as well I really cannot tell the difference between Perla and Barocco to me they feel the same now I use the Perla brush more often but that's because these two brushes are similar I don't need two similar brushes that's why I only use one brush all right uh, let's check out the Barocco flat brush I'm going to load this Barocco flat brush fully and see if it's able to cover this 9 by 12 inch watercolor paper with one load let me work very quickly I'm going to paint a flat wash so this brush is able to cover a large area and it performs quite well there are some streaking marks the horizontal streaking marks that's because of the paper this is very lousy watercolor paper which is why I'm using it to paint washes like this this is quite a good brush for painting large areas like this it releases water quite evenly and now let's switch over to using the Escoda Versatile this is a smaller brush compared to the Barocco it has shorter hair and the width is also shorter so same thing I'm going to load it with paint and see if it's able to cover this paper let me work very quickly so this was painted with the Barocco this was painted with the Versatile the horizontal streaking mark it's not as obvious here maybe because the Versatile it releases more water and it allows the paint to blend to diffuse more easily but the paper really plays a part if you are using 100% cotton paper the colors are going to blend very beautifully you are not going to see horizontal streaking marks like this but in terms of performance I think uh, they are both quite similar another thing about synthetic brushes is they are good for painting with lots of paint really thick paint so now I'm using really thick paint and because the brush is stiffer compared to natural hair brushes sable brushes it really feels that uh, it really feels like I'm drawing with the brush it's like drawing with the brush not painting with the brush and it's easier to control when the I mean it's easier to paint lines like this when the brush hair is stiffer sometimes with softer brushes the brush hair flops around it's difficult to control but this this is great for painting details like this painting lines like this so this is the Perla and this is the Barocco to conclude I don't really see the difference between these two brushes except for the color of the hair maybe it's better to go for the golden Torre because um, you can see white hair it looks nice when it's new but once it's stained with color it looks like any other brush the performance of these synthetic brushes they are actually quite similar to other brands of synthetic brushes so I'm not sure if there is any significant advantage or benefit to getting the Escoda brand but if you want to get their brushes well they are very well made quality is very good of course but compared to other brands of synthetic brushes um, not really a lot of difference so you can choose your brushes based on your budget 
and speaking of budget the size 8 brush is less than 10 us dollar if i am not wrong let's go find the prices this is jackson's art website jackson's art is an uk store so for size 8 it's 6.8 pounds so that's around us 10 dollars the largest perla brush available on jackson's website costs 26 pounds now if you are going to buy a sable brush at the same price it's going to be over hundreds of uh, US dollars or hundreds of pounds it's very expensive by the way Jackson's art they provide free international shipping for brush orders above 20 pounds and this is the price for Barocco's brush size 8 on Dick Blick's website this is US $10.30 price is very similar to Escoda Perla. If you need a second opinion on these brushes, you can check out the text review that my friend Marvin Chu has written on my blog. Marvin is a full-time watercolor painter and he uses the Escoda Perla and Barocco for his paintings. Now the link to the reviews will be in the video description below. And that's all for my review today. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. If you are using these brushes, I would love to hear about your experience using them. All right, thanks for watching. I hope this video is helpful. See you in the next one. Bye.